come to my railway. Okay, this village is called Samton, as you can see from the sign of the station. It used to be called Upper Hogsfoot, but then Samantha Holt, the famous artist, moved in. Artist, writer even. And you can see on the station there's a little bit about her on the platform then. And Samton, home of Samantha Holt. This is Samton Manor. Um, and Sam lives there, a garden she played in, a rather nice garden, and her own personal brewery siding. There's her MX-5 and a sports car. Now, her father, impoverished man, lives in this little house here with a little well, and if you look carefully, you can see there's potatoes growing in his garden. It's all he's got to eat. And over there are her workers' houses, which, which aren't very good. So... Moving on to the rather interesting platform suspended over the railway line. Just here we have an archaeological dig going. And you can see that we've got a little mosaic that's been uncovered. And rather interestingly, a little skeleton that's been uncovered too. Can't see what now the film crew are just setting up to make a film about that after the, the crew have finished with the digging. And there's the film crew's uh, little van. Now over here we have a little, little chapel on a hill and a little wood. And this is Little Strong in the Marsh Quayside Station, where the narrow gauge trains go into the tunnel. Up the hill, up the hill again, and up the hill again to the top. And then share the track across the bridge. Now this is the uh, canal with the uh, narrow boats waiting to be loaded and uh, a tunnel which uh, I think says something interesting like Little Snorg in the Marsh Tunnel, enter at your peril. Interesting view of safety. Now this man here is significant with a boat because he is waiting for the bride who's running away from the church service. Oh dear, some people have died over there. She's running away over the bridge, over the bridge, uh, down across the bar, down the path to where he's going to get the boat, and they're going across to Quayside, where they get on a train, and they go up the hill, and up the hill, and up the hill, and up the hill, and go past husband, wave at him, and head off down to the station over there. And this is Kitty Roy's Wild West Camp. An interesting thing about Kitty Roy's Wild West Camp is that he actually has a little working fire that will sometimes smoke. Over here we have the camping coach from our holidays together with a, oops, something's happened to the car. That's better. A Triumph Herald, of course. Into the station we can see here which is uh, C and G's, that's Claire and Graham, Volkswagen Camper and Triumph Works. And there's some welding going on on a minor thousand in there. And here's the station. And waiting here is a crossful bus, just like the one that used to take us to Norman Road. Tower 7, another Herald, another minor thousand, and another crossful bus, which is just like the one that used to take us up to um, Brintag. Now, in the castle, this castle incident, it was made by Sam and I when she was three. Uh, in the castle, rather interesting, a, a new painting scene going on. We're all trying to think about that. Uh, waiting for the train is a rather scary man with a scythe. Death himself. I wouldn't want to get on a train with him. And over here, waiting for a train... We have the Queen and Prince Philip. And over here, there's an old loo, and we can see what's going on there. Anyway, moving on we go. Over here, there's a little man who's waiting. Hang on a second, get him in a minute. He's got a gun. I hope he picks it up, because there's a bear creeping up behind him. And now we move into... Oh, one thing I forgot is... 
traffic wardens wondering why there's a motorbike falling over and there's a policeman here checking up on somebody's breaking in so that's a bit scary um, moving on that is little snoring station moving on we come to Hogsfoot Junction and Hogsfoot Junction is still being developed but we do have a engine shed and we do have the main platforms and up there is Hogsfoot High Level where there's going to be a theme park that should be fun okay that really completes the tour of the countryside of my little railway